In the previous video, we have seen what is Chomsky's normal form. We have also seen what are the steps to convert CFG to CNF. A grammar is said to be in CNF if the production rules are of either of this form. That is a variable deriving exactly two variable symbols or a variable deriving exactly one terminal symbol. We have also seen what are the steps to convert CFG to CNF? The step 1 is to simplify or reduce the context-free grammar. Step 2, I have to check whether the simplified grammar is already in CNF. If not, I have to convert the grammar into CNF by creating new variables for substitutions such that the variables that I create are in CNF. So now let's solve a Denmark question. Given a context-free grammar, we have to convert that into a Chomsky's normal form. So this is my question over here. So let's begin. We know that the grammar is defined by four tuples that is V, T, P and S where V is a set of variables. So here my variables are S, A and B. Okay. And T is a set of terminal symbols. So from the production rules, I, the terminal symbols are 0 and 1. Fine. S is my start symbol. And P are my production rules that is S deriving 1A or 0B, A deriving 1AA, 0S or 0, B deriving 0BB or 1. To convert the grammar to CNF, I have to check whether the grammar is reduced or simplified. So, the step 1 is to simplify or reduce the CAQ. To simplify or reduce context free grammar, I have to eliminate the null production from the grammar, eliminate the unit production from the grammar, and eliminate the useless variables from the grammar. So, now let's check whether we have any null productions. So for that, we need to identify the nullable variables. So I know that nullable variables are those variables which directly or indirectly derive an epsilon. Looking at the production rules on S. S by no means is deriving an epsilon. Looking at the production rules of A as well. A is not deriving any epsilon. Also production rule of B does not derive any epsilon directly or indirectly so i can so i can say that there is no null productions in the given context free grammar checking for unit productions now unit productions are those productions wherein a variable derives exactly one variable so going back to our production rules S deriving 1A is not a unit production. Also, S deriving 0B, not a unit production. A deriving 1AA, not a unit production. A deriving 0S, no, it's not a unit production. A deriving terminal 0, not a unit production. So, A does not have any unit productions. Variable B also does not have any unit production. So I can say now my grammar does not have any unit productions. Now checking for any useless variable in my grammar. I know that a variable is useless if it is not reachable from the start symbol or it cannot derive a terminal string. So now let's check whether we have any useless variable. So now let's check whether S 
variable is a useless variable or not. S is itself a start symbol, so the condition 1 is justified. Can S derive a terminal string? So I have a rule S derive a 1a. Now if for this a, if I use up the substitution of a, that is a, a deriving 0. So if I use the substitution on a, that is a deriving 0, I know that s can derive a terminal string. So s start, start symbol s justifies both the conditions. So s is not a useless variable. Checking for the variable a, a deriving 1 a a or 0 s or 0 is a reachable from start symbol s. I have a production rule that is s deriving in a. So a is reachable from start symbol. Can a derive a terminal string? Yes, I have this rule a deriving 0. That means a justifies the condition, variable a justifies the condition 2 as well. So a is not a useless variable. Coming to variable b, b deriving 0 in b or 1. Is b reachable from start symbol? Yes. Taking the production rule of s, s deriving 0 b, yes b is reachable from start symbol. Can b derive a terminal string? Yes, we can derive a terminal string as well, that is b deriving 1. So here there are no useless symbols. So my grammar is in reduced form. My grammar is already in reduced form. Now after checking all the three conditions, we have found out that the given grammar is already in reduced or simplified form. Now step 2 is to check whether the production rules are already in. If not, I have to create new variables for substitution such that the new variables are in CNF. So now let's begin for production rule S. Let's check whether it is in CNF. S deriving 1a or 0b. The rule S deriving 1a is not in CNF because it is a combination of terminal and a variable. S deriving 0b is also not in CNF since it is a combination of terminal and a variable. So I create a new variable such that the variables that I create is in CNF. I know the production rule should have exactly two variables. So I create a new variable which derives this one. So let's say y1 will derive one and use this y1 on s. That is s will now derive y1a. So now s deriving y1a is in CNF. The other production rule on S is S deriving 0B. This is not in CNF. So I create a new variable which derives 0. It says Y2 deriving 0 and substitute this back on S. So S will derive Y2B. For the production rule S, I have converted it into CNF form. That is S deriving y1a or it derives y2b okay where y1 derives 1 and y2 derives 0. So the new variable that I, I have created is also in CNF. Now a deriving 1a a or 0s or 0. Here a deriving 1 a a it is not in CNF. a deriving 0 s is also not in CNF. a deriving 0 is in CNF form. Okay. So now for 
the rules a deriving 1 a a or 0 s i have to look up for some substitution such that i convert them into cnf form here this is a combination of uh, terminals and variables for one i have already created up a substitution of y1 so if i substitute for one y1 i get y1 a a and for this rule that is a deriving 0s i have already created up a variable y2 which derives 0 so i i use this y2 s okay so now if i look at the production rule a deriving y2 s is in cnf that is it contains exactly two variables now a deriving y1 a a is still not in cnf okay so i have to convert it into cnf this is a combination of three variables but i need exactly two variables so what i do is i take this combination and create a new variable let's say y3 deriving a a and substitute y3 back on it so a will now derive y1 y3 it will derive y2 s also it derives zero so that's how i converted a into cnf form coming over to the production rule b b deriving 0 b b or 1 here production rule b deriving 0 b b is not in cnf but production rule b deriving 1 is in cnf so i have to convert b deriving 0 b b into cnf for zero i have already used up a variable that is y2 deriving zero so on substituting on b i get y2 b b now this is a combination of three variables which is not allowed in cnf i need exactly two variables so what i do is i create a new variable which derives b b so I, let's say i derive y4 which derives b and substitute y4 back on b and b will now derive y2 y4 also it will derive 1 so my final grammar which is in cnf will have following production rules s deriving y1 a y2 b y1 deriving 1 y2 deriving 0 a deriving y1 y3 or y2 s or 0 y3 deriving a a okay b deriving y2 y4 or 1 y4 deriving b b okay so looking at all the production rules each of the production rules satisfy either of the two conditions of cnf thank you for watching this video do subscribe to the channel to get notified about new videos